हेलो फ्रेंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम सो आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट व्हाट इज असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम इन असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट पर्संस एंड एन नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट जॉब व्हाट वी डू वी असाइन दिस एन नंबर ऑफ डिफरेंट पर्संस टू एन नंबर ऑफ जॉब विद अ सर्टेन कंडीशन दैट ईच पर्सन इज असाइन टू ओनली वन जॉब so if each person is assigned to only one job then number of person and number of job should be equal and our objective is that we have to minimize cost of assignment or time of assignment so here we have problem in this problem we have four persons which we have be write in row way a b c and d and four job was second third and fourth and here if we assign first person to first job then cost is 15 if we assign first person to second job then cost is 13 if we assign second person to first job then cost is 11 so these all are the cost what we have to do we have to minimize the cost by assigning this four persons to four job so we uh, we make assignment with the help of hungarian method what is hungarian method in hungarian method we use certain steps to solve the assignment problem and first step in hungarian method is that that our matrix should be a square matrix in our example our matrix is square what is a square matrix in a square matrix number of row and number of column should be equal in our example we have four row a b c and d and four column was second third and fourth so our matrix is a square if our matrix is square in second step what we do we reduce the matrix in second step we reduce the matrix how we make reduction first we reduce the matrix by row wise that is we call row reduction in row reduction what we do we select minimum element from each row and subtract that minimum element from that row so uh, so for example in first row minimum element is 13 what we do in row reduction we subtract this 13 from the element of first row in second row minimum element is 11 in third row minimum element is 10 in fourth row minimum element is 40 what we do in row reduction in first row minimum element is 30 what we do we subtract this minimum element 13 from that row element so 15 minus 13 is 2 30 minus 13 is 0 14 minus 13 is 1. For 17 minus 13 is 4. In second row, minimum element is 11. So we subtract this minimum element 11 from element of second row. That is 11 minus 11 is 0. 12 minus 11 is 1. 15 minus 11 is 4. 30 minus 11 is 2. In third row, minimum element is 10. So what we do? We subtract this minimum element 10 from element of third row. That is 30 minus 10. Is three, twelve minus ten is two, ten minus ten is zero, eleven minus ten is one, and in fourth row we do the same way. For fifteen uh, minus fourteen is one, seventeen minus fourteen is three, fourteen minus fourteen zero, sixteen minus fourteen two. So we get reduced matrix. In the next step, what we do? we make column reduction but question is that how we make column reduction in column reduction we use matrix of row reduction in first column we have minimum element 0 in second column we have minimum element 0 in third column we have minimum element 0 but in fourth column we have minimum element 1 so what we do we select minimum element from each column and subtract that minimum element from the corresponding column so we get column reduction 
So how we proceed? In first column minimum element is 0. If we subtract 0 from the first column element, we get the same set of elements. That is 2, 0, 3 and 1. If we subtract 0 from the second column element, we get the same set of elements. That is 0, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, for the third column, we get same set element 1, 4, 0 and 0. But in fourth column, minimum element is 1. So we subtract this 1 from the fourth column element. We get 3, 1, 0 and 1. Check after re reduce the matrix. Check in each row and each column. There is at least one zero element. So in our first row, there is one zero. In second row, there is one zero. In third row, there is two zero. In fourth row, there is one zero. Similarly, in first column, there is one zero. Second column, one zero. Third column, two zero. Fourth column, one zero. So there is at least one zero element in each row and in each column. Our next step is that we make assignment in the reduce matrix. We make assignment in reduce matrix. How we make assignment? It is very simple. We write reduce matrix as it is 2, 0, 3, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, 1. How do we make assignment? We use, which is very simple. First, we check row from top to bottom until a row with single zero is appear. We make assignment to that single zero by making a square bracket around it by making a square bracket around it and then cross all the zero in the respective column. So what we do, we check row from top to bottom until a row with single zero element appear. In first row, there is one zero. So we make assignment by making a square bracket around this. And we cross all the zero in the column number two. Why we cross all the zero? Because uh, in assignment problem, each person is assigned to only one job. So we have to cross the column 0. In second row, there is one zero. So we make assignment by making a square bracket around it and cross all the zero in the respective column. There is no zero, so no need for crossing. In third row, there is two zero. There are two zero. So we don't make any assignment in the third row. In fourth row, there is single zero. So we make assignment in the fourth row and cross all the zero in the respective column. Why we cross zero? Because each person is assigned to only one job. If D person assigned to third job, then third job is not going to assign to any other person. Now we make column assignment. How we make column assignment? We check column from left to right and if any column in which there is single zero, we make assignment in that single zero and cross the respective row zero. In first column there is assignment, in second column there is assignment, in third column there is assignment. So there is no need to assign in the first, second and third column because we have already assigned this three column. In fourth column there is single zero, so we make assignment in that single zero and cross the respective zero element. Already crossed, now we count the number of assignment. Here number of assignment is four. Number of assignment equals to 4 which is equals to number of row or number of column that we call order of matrix so our solution is optimal so our solution is optimal what we do now we write the optimum cost or minimum cost how we write we have persons we have jobs. We have four person A, B, C and D. First person assigned to second job. And this cost is, if first person assigned to second job, then cost is 13. Second person assigned to first job. If second person assigned to first job, then cost is 11. 
third person assigned to fourth job. If third person assigned to fourth job, then cost is eleven. Fifth, uh, fourth person assigned to third job. If fourth person assigned to third job, then cost is forty. And total cost is twenty four, twenty four, eleven, thirty five, thirty five, or forty, forty nine. Which is our minimum cost. Thank you.